What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and yes, this is definitely not clickbait, so don't worry. I got into a car accident, someone crashed into me, and I have it all on my dash cam. And the guy was actually honest, he uh, admitted that it was his fault, but even if he, if he didn't, I had it on the dash cam, so I could have called the police and showed the police officer, and he would have been cited a ticket. But since he was honest, I didn't call the police. Uh, I talked to my insurance and my insurance said there was no need um, to call the police if there was no property damage. It was bumper to bumper uh, car accident and he hit me from behind and I have it all on my dash cam. So I have proof, which is pretty cool. So if you have any kind of insurance claim, this is the best thing to have for if you ever get into a car accident or if you have a, a child that's just started to um, drive and you wanna monitor their driving, get a dash cam. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get a dash cam. It's also a backup camera too as well. But if you're interested in other awesome car tech for your car under $200, I'll leave a video link in um, you know, the video description below. And um, if you're interested in installing one of these for your car, I'm gonna leave the um, installation video in the video description below if you're interested in that video. I made that uh, a while back. So hopefully those videos will help you out. If it really does, give me a thumbs up because that helps me out. Right here, I got it set up and I'm gonna hit play. And it's powered by um, mini USB. This is just a backup battery pack. But here is the video footage. So that was the car accident. They're actually the it records front and back, but the front cam really doesn't show anything. So this is us just talking. That's his vehicle. You can see his bumpers almost falling off. And uh, believe it or not, my backup camera still worked after that, which is pretty amazing. Uh, but ironic part is that I was going to Mako to pick up my wife's car after uh, hail damage. Yes, it hailed in Florida. Great. Holy sh So I have a new mirror I just got and this one actually has the LCD on the left versus the old one having the LCD in the middle. But I drive on the left side of the mirror so it's nice to have the LCD on the left side where I'm sitting. If you guys are interested in this giveaway, check out the link in the video description below. But otherwise, they pretty much do the same thing. They record front and back and they have a backup camera. When you um, throw it in reverse, that camera kicks on. But this one has a touchscreen, which is it's a little bit of an improved model, in my opinion. It records in 720 and HD. It has looping, records uh, over and over. So I wanted to show you the video quality of the new AutoVox DVR system. Uh, in my opinion, I think the resolution is a better quality than my old Rexon DVR system. Both are good quality, but the new AutoVox, in my opinion, has a better resolution, back camera and the front camera. And the touch screen um, feature is also easier to use than the, hitting the buttons on the bottom of the rear view mirror on the Rexing DVR system. So this is the reset button. This is the USB, which powers it and transfers data. This is the AV input. And this is where you input the SD card. And I, I, you can put a 16 gig or 32 gig, I recommend, a micro SD card. And it just snaps over your existing rear view mirror. You don't have to remove your old rear view mirror. This should fit over any mirror. And here's the speaker, and here's the camera right here. Comes with everything you need. So here is the backup camera. That comes included, and this is, of course, this is the power, the power on the rear view mirror. That's the plug, that's the mini USB. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, mini USB, not micro USB, mini USB. It comes with extra fasteners right here in case those other rubber ones break and microfiber cloth to clean it because it is touch screen and your fingerprints will get on it. The battery on this is better. So when you turn off your car, this will last um, actually a lot longer than this one. This battery in this one only lasts for maybe like a minute and then the, um, the whole thing shuts down. Let's go ahead and uh, go through some of the features. I'm gonna plug it in 
right here using my battery backup. All right, so let's go ahead and insert the micro SD card. I have a 16 gig. This should last me weeks of recordings. So right here is the power button. And but when you turn on your car, it should automatically turn on the rear view mirror. This is the mute button if you don't want it to record your voice. It records everything inside your car, not outside your car. Click on that. Um, so right now it's recording. You can see that red dot blinking and the timer. It has a date stamp uh, as well. It tells you um, the rear view mirror is powered right here. The SD card is recording uh, standard HD, 30 frames per second. And click on menu. All right, I gotta go to settings to change some of the other settings. Uh, like a, the video quality, I have it on super fine. Hit back. The time, I have it set on one minute. So it records every one minute and then records again every one minute. So you don't have to, uh, you know, search through the video file. So I'd say if it's a three minute video file and the car accident happened at the end of three minutes, then you don't have to fast forward all the way through the end of the video. If, it, if you record one minute videos, it's a lot easier to find your footage. Uh, the playback, there's three types of playback videos. Let's go into that. That's normal mode, where it doesn't detect any kind of car accident, emergency, and motion detection, where someone walks past the camera, it'll start recording them. So if you guys are interested in the dash and backup camera DVR system, check out the link in the video description below. Also the installation video link will be there. If you want more tech videos like this coming your way, click on the subscribe button right here or down below. And if you know anyone that may be interested in this device, click on the share button below. Thanks guys for watching.